Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day 66. The traders restocked today, so I think we're going to go visit them kind of one last time. I was trying to make stacks of gunpowder, but I really need 4,800 uh, nitrate powder. So we're going to do that. I was making power armor last night. I got a, all of the military armor that we had. I had to scrap. Well, I didn't have to scrap it. I should have been doing it all along. Um, but, eh, you know me. Uh, but we do need it to make power armor. So I want to go full power armor, but the problem is I can only make maximum 51. So I'm trying to make as much of this as I can. It requires 10 forged titanium, uh, 10 military fiber, and an energy cell per one piece. So I've been making uh, a bunch of this stuff. Hopefully I can get it up to like each one over level 61. That's going to be fine, I think. I don't think... I mean, we could run with 54 even, but I would rather have more mods in um, to mitigate explosions. Um, and I'll probably I'll probably drop the armor mod in, thing to mitigate explosions, as many of those as I can get, and then whatever else needs to be in there, like the tactical rigging and um, the bandolier mod, the headlight mod. There's a few things that I need to keep in there, but everything else will just be armor plates and um, armor plates and uh, yeah, the like the insulated line, like cooling mesh insulated liner for explosion resistance, which we have lots of already, so I don't need to make any of those. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get these going. Let's make another round of these guys. Two, three, four, five. That should give me, I think, three of each, but they take a couple of minutes of pop. So while those are crafting, I got the Fusion Forge made last night. It's actually making the Forge Titanium that we need. I don't have a lot here. I could only make like 300. I do have some Titanium left over. Um, I didn't want to make it all in case we need it for other stuff. I don't know exactly what it's used for. Like we might need it for um, laser ammo, for instance. I'm not 100% sure, which I probably should just check into. So for making energy cells... Even the last time I played this game, I never even built an energy cell. So we need electrical parts, forged titanium, and enriched uranium. Enriched uranium is these two guys. Once again, I don't want to make two too much. So it's 10 per to make one, I guess, right? Does that make one? It makes one. So how many does that make? I don't have a lot of electrical parts right now. I'm going to have to go and get electrical parts. I got 37. I thought I grabbed a bunch of the, at the bunker, but I realized that I left really early, so uh, I didn't get as many as I thought I did. I'm going to keep merging this stuff, hoping that I can get it to 61. Anyways, the energy cells make 20 per. That's not a lot. Technically, it's 30, So because we have... The ability to make a battery recharger which gives us 50% of the ammo back. So it's technically 30 per one. So if I make a hundred, that's like 3,000 rounds I think. Roughly what we'll get out of it. Let's make 150. I'm probably not going to use the laser on the horde night that we run around in the cities. I'll probably only use it in the horde base. So let's just craft that. We'll keep some of this. I, I might have to make another trip down to the wasteland to get some more titanium and stuff before we actually go ahead and fight that last horde. I might want to upgrade a bit more of the base to titanium. I haven't quite decided yet, but we've already got 2,000. Yeah, we've already got 2,000 rounds here. So, I mean, that should probably be enough, right? If I extend the horde it might not be. Um, how are we doing here? So that gives us 58. So we should be able to get... There we go. That should give us what we need. So let's just put this in here for now. And let's go downstairs. Uh, you can go down here, though. Because I want to start working on this place. So what we're going to do for the next days, few days, as you can hear, it's pretty quiet downstairs. I turned off Feral Sense for now. Uh, we got these blocks we can get going. Let's get these guys mixing. I think I got a ton of 
Yeah, a ton of concrete in here already. So let's get some more moving. Get those mixing and let's make... Um, yeah, I forget about the cobblestone. That's only for repairing stuff. But uh, concrete shapes, let's make another 200. All right, so I do have kind of a rough idea of what I want to do. I just don't know how it's going to work out here. Story of my life, right? Um, let's just... Uh, we might need the wood on us. Where's my wood? We got lots of wood here. And we're going to be picking up stone, so we might as well put this on us too. Okay, so we're going to need this down. We'll probably get a wandering horde at some point. Uh, so I should probably leave these guys down more so than the Molotovs. Bring you down. Um, I think we'll leave those down there for now. Okay, let's get down here. First thing we got to do is clean up the yard because, yeah, this was uh, long overdue. Oh man, it's so nice not to have to worry, worry about wandering zombies. Did I actually get that? Apparently not. Well, let's just use that now. How did you get down there? Is there a way in there now? He just glitched through and went... Alright, whatever. I gotta fill that in. Uh, you know, I've been saying that since like we moved here. I think I got most of the goop. Looks pretty good, actually. This part here now. Should I do it... Okay, this has got to get broken out. Let's break these out. Alright, so the wall goes there. So this would be... There we go. Bit of a lag there. I'm wondering if the watering horde just showed up. Cool. So what we're going to do is make... Do I want a window here? Let's just do that open for now. We might make that into a window. Uh, what we'll do is we'll make... I guess the first five blocks. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. The first five blocks concrete. The rest of it, if it's not, it's not. I want to make a place to park the car. So I'm thinking we're going to do that probably back here. We've already got a built-in ramp. Kind of. That we could take this out and extend this ramp. Now, is that the four... Block it is, right? One, two, three, four. That's the four block ramp, so that's the easiest incline that, that can be made. Let's take some of this out. Drop those. Okay, I'm fully expecting a screamer here today. We'll see. Alright, let's fill this in. Don't hear any... Oh man, what a difference. With Feral Sense off, what a difference. You don't realize how, like if you play with, like I've been only playing with Feral Sense on for the past little while, and I watch other YouTubers play with Feral Sense off, and you don't realize how much, I don't want to say better it is, but how little you need to worry about shit with Feral Sense off. All right, let's just fill, ooh, I can't fill that in because of these Bars? Well, hopefully we can get some electrical parts today. Looks like we're picking some up. Uh, let's just take you down. Okay, we can at least fill this part in. Close myself in there. Now, is that stain? That's stainless steel. Really? Why would you do that? I'm not going to worry too, too much about this. Uh, this is technically my entranceway, though. I should probably... We are definitely getting a Screamer here today. If we don't, I'm going to be amazingly shocked. Okay. So now I don't have to worry about falling in there. We just come in here, we jump up. 
Good to go. I should probably make this a proper landing up here, though. So let's just take out maybe you. There we go. Proper landing. I should have did this a long time ago. I keep saying that. All right, so that's done. Oh, actually, our... What were we missing from here? Oh, a battery. Did I pick one up outside? I didn't Oh, I did. Yes. Marauder. 24 seconds. That's awesome. Okay, we got that thing now. Uh, now, so we want to work on this bit a bit. Okay, do I want to go... Hmm. Alright, we've got to figure out... So this is the second floor. I want to leave this control room because this is kind of nice. I'll probably change out the lighting. But I like this control room. I kind of like this too. I think I want to keep these tanks. Ah, I'm thirsty, I know. Just do this real quick. I want to keep the tanks because I want to make it look like these are water storage tanks. But we don't need... Ooh, let's take out the top ladder. Take out the hatch. Okay, we'll put in... those guys and then we're going to do eventually I'm not going to do it just yet because I haven't figured out where the where the water is going to go but we've got it's not there to here yeah so we've got like these kind of pieces here right that we can add it looks like it's a you know a, um, piping coming out of here and we'll run it up and over where we're going to have our hydro like our, our in, indoor um, farm I wonder if we do it over there, have the farm on that side. I was going to put it in the center here, but I'm wondering if we put it on that side, then we ha at least have wall structure. That's going to be a little better then. So let's go. Oh man, parkour makes things so much easier sometimes, right? I mean, I know you guys know, but I don't use it all that often. So that's 10,000, eh? These are what? Okay. Let's take... Some of this out. That piece is corner piece is concrete, really. Making this titanium pick was the best thing I ever did. Okay, so this level is where the crops are going to be. Is it there? Shit, uh, it has to be up one. So this needs to be the support. Then the piping, and then the crops will be up here. Which is kind of cool, because then when we're at the control thing, we'll be looking out over, like, right into the, the crop field. Yeah, the crop should be down one from here, so we're kind of looking out over the field, rather than having the ground level be right there and us looking through the crops. We want to be looking down one so that we can see when they're done. Okay, let's go downstairs now and reinforce some of these walls before we start doing too, too much here. All right, well, I'm out of concrete already. Didn't last long, did it? So we got most of these walls all done up to like level five. I mean, it's six here technically because when they get up onto here, they're up one. So I tried to make it five across there. Let's go inside and get the rest of the concrete. Oh, so much easier getting in now. Holy crap. All right. I got to make more concrete, though. We're going to burn through this so quickly if I updated that outside and still... Okay, let's get more cement mix going. And before we go back down, let's make sure we put away the steel. Because that would be bad if we used that up. I already made a thousand iron. That's not bad. All right, let's head back down. Well, I'll tell you, when using the multi-tool, it goes fast. Repair these guys. Okay, so, let's copy shape. Then we can go on face, I think. Yeah, we'll replace the ones that got knocked out along here. 
Now the question is though, like that looks like a tank down there. How do I want to lay in? Let's grab these down. So this layer right here. Now this has got to be where it sits on then. So this has to be concrete. That's got to be pipe. And that's got to be where the farm plot is. Right along here. So if this is concrete here. Then I need to take out the top of these tanks. Watering horde. Alright. Let's go do this. I'm going to have to gather them up now because they have no idea where I am. There they are. Come on, guys. Fight's over here. Damn it! You had to go and do that, didn't you? Alright. They're breaking shit in there already. I just fixed this damn base. Come on, you guys. Let's go. I'm over here. There you are. This way. One good thing about Feral Sense that the zombies know where you are all the time. Come on, Kappa. He's down. I just see a demon go in there, so I don't know where they are. Oh, there's a radiated uh, female hemoth. Fem -hem what, what? I don't know. Whatever. She's not going to last long, though. They're banging on my shit. That's a screamer. That was a screamer. Didn't last long. Well, not bad. Hey, I'm over here, lady. Oi! Come on! Oh, there you are. I got work to do. Now, are you out of durability? Or just out of ammo? Ammo. I'm wondering if that freaking demon got caught in the grates. It's here somewhere. There he is. I think that's it. Did any of them go this way? Nope, I don't think so. We oop, I didn't make that one. I think they were just headed that way. And this we can just fill in with concrete, because we got lots of it. I think what we do is I want the rounded edges there. I don't think I do. Mm. Let's get rid of these for now. But we 
know this is where the farm level's got to be. I don't know how big I want to make the farm yet, so... So right now we're kind of supported by the wall. So this... Like, if that's where the end of the pipe is going to be... Look at this, you damaged stuff. I think I should probably make this all concrete here. Actually, let's do it down here too. So if I'm doing it like this, this is where the piping is. I don't want it exposed. For now. And then we can do shape this one. And then we can copy the rotation from that guy. So we might be able to, well, I might extend it out one more, but for now I'm just going to leave it. And then once this is painted, actually I don't mind the rounded edges on this. It's a little weird, but with the base here, it actually looks okay. And those tanks look okay, that looks okay. I mean, it'll all be concrete at some point. Uh, yeah, I think we can go that route. So now the question is, is how far out do we go? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six currently, seven probably times one, two, three, four, five. So that's 35. And then another seven times three is 21. So that's 56 to there. 56 farm plots? Or do we go all the way to that side? I don't think so. Maybe to there. So we definitely know we want the three. Oh, hey, big boy, what's up? No. 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 Not allowed to do that. Let's have it attached to that wall. And then maybe we just do... Like this, and then we want to do shape. Let's go with. I could go with the traditional wedge, but I think I'm gonna go with something a little blockier. Where is the one I want here? See how it looks here in a second. If I can find the damn thing. I thought it was like right up here. That's the one I wanted. All right, well, advanced. Something like that, I think. And then maybe we do that. We know it's there. So, yeah, I'm actually not hating that. It's kind of not bad. 57. So we were looking at 54. Say I want a total of 60. I had 30, so let's make 30 more. Actually, I'll make 12 in here. Because this one's a little faster. Okay, let's go get us a bit of water here. Where's my bucket? So in order for a farm to work, or, or what do you call it, a... Uh, excellent. In order for the, the uh, hydro... Well, that doesn't have to be a hydroponic farm, but actually maybe I should get some grow lights. No, nah, because then I gotta make special, uh... Oh, thanks for that. Just getting a little thirsty. Mo can always come through in the clinch. Actually, might as well just eat the food, too. Where is it? Ah, one of them, anyway. So, in order for the hydroponic farm to work, you gotta have, um, special seeds, which are made by using super corn, which we don't really have. So that's not going to work. Now, we want to use the T sections. I guess it doesn't really matter. I was going to have them visible, but I think it's all going to be hidden. 
So right below us, we got to drill a hole here. Probably right. So that's the that's the canister. That is the space. That is the wall. So either of these two blocks would work here. Uh, let's go there. Right there. So we need to hold down, and in order for the for the uh, irrigation system to work. Oh shit! Really? Guess it's got to be here then. In order for the irrigation system to work, um, the controller's got to be a, by a block of water. But the block of water can't be that figures can't be taken up like by eaten by the the crops. The crops will eat a block of water to grow. So. We can't have that happening, so they gotta be down. Ah, fucking figures. The water's gotta be down far enough so that the um, the crops won't eat the water. I hear you out there. All right, now let's get rid of you. Yeah, I'll be there in a second, for fuck's sakes. Could be worse. Alright, that's where they're gonna go down. Who do we got down here? Hey, you. More knives that I don't need. What is that, your steak set? Um... So we need to go down. So I believe crops will eat in a floor four block radius. So let's grab you out of there and use you so I don't fuck up. So that's the pipe. That's the crop. So one, two, three, four, and then down one more for where we want to have the pump. Now I know the pump's not accessible. Do I really care? Not at this point. I think if I was... So that's where the pump's got to be. If I was playing a series where I started off this way, I think I would worry about it then. But right now, not really worried about it. That gives us a way out. So that's concrete. No, it's not. Well, that's concrete. So we can put our water source and our pump down here. Now you only need one block. For the, for the pump and the water source. So let's go with, the pump is gonna go here, like that. And then I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna put three three blocks of water in there. Well, that just actually fills the whole thing. It does, what do you know? Well, there you go. Uh, and then we wanna do concrete. Actually, we want to. I think we want to leave the water spaced above that, so we don't want to put anything there. Let's go ahead and upgrade this stuff, though. I should have probably got behind here before I put it in. Damn it! Oh, there we go. This is just to protect from uh, idiots. A lot of concrete already. I need more concrete and uh, concrete. There we go. Let's go up and get that now. Ah, oh, look at the damage these guys are doing. I gotta upgrade those too. Okay, so that's mostly blocked in there. Let's get up out of here and start adding in these pipes. So, um,. Once again, I don't think it matters what direction these are facing. As long as they're like bordering each other, it's fine. But if you want to make them look good, it's probably a good idea to like do that. So we got three here. Uh, I can't get up that way. That's three, four, and then the crops. So that's perfect, I think, where that is. Uh, so this is where the pipes are going to be. So here, I mean, if you want it to be 
half decently proper uh, advanced do it something like that right and then that's concrete so that should protect these and then at the end you know you just kind of go um, very simple Something like that, you know. But once again, like I said, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Now, um, as far as crops go, from what I know, from what I remember Kane saying, and it may have changed with this version of Darkness Falls, but I know in the past, um, what crops do is they eat a block of water. So eventually, once the pump is working, which it is, um, it's going to start filling these with water and then like so they'll slowly all fill and then what will happen is the crop will look once it grows or is ready to grow will look for a block of water within its radius within four blocks and will eat that block of water and then the pipe takes a second for the water to refill it doesn't instantly refill so if you've got one pipe and four blocks of crops one of the blocks of crops will eat the water and then the next one will have to wait for the water to replenish to be able to eat the water again to be able to start growing. So if each block of water or each farm plot has got its own block of water within radius, technically that's the fastest way to grow crops. So that's why I kind of do it this way. Plus, I mean, yeah, we got the resources for it. So let's just do it, right? Like that's kind of the way I feel here. So we're going to want a door out here. Uh, that's actually the wall there, I think. Or is it? Let's go find out. Oh, hey, buddy. What's that? You're upset? I, I don't really care. He's just asking if I had a zoning permit. Well, yeah, it would be nice to have access from, like... Well, I guess this isn't too bad. Like, coming down here and then being able to just walk out to where the farm is. So maybe we do need to put a door in here. Like, I remove... Maybe I remove these two extraneous control panels. We can put a door on either side, maybe. So I'm just going to put these on the ones that have the uh, the pipes down here already. I actually kind of like the look of this. It looks like it's like kind of some kind of ventilation. Ooh, let's go down here. we got to finish upgrading this first. So let's do that. Okay, that's done. Yeah, let's do it like this. And then we'll do the angle blocks these guys uh, copy shape apparently not because I'm using the wrong block these guys just do it like that I think why can't I not put a block there well that's interesting Move this. Yeah, well, let me put a block there. I know there's some hidden control blocks in some places. You're on my truck. Speaking of which, I haven't brought the Marauder down yet. Let's pick you up. Ah, oh, leaving goop on my friggin... Alright, there's the Marauder. Don't have any gas for it, I don't think. Ah, oh, we got a little bit. Okay, there's the rest of the joints that we got. So, let's go down and plant some crops. We've got, I mean, we don't have a lot. Really, what you want to plant is like corn, right? Because you, you want to make a ton of plastic. We do have super corn, though. Uh, we have super corn seeds? We do not. Use one of these guys, though. Uh, so, let's make three super corn seeds. 
uh, a bunch of corn seeds, potatoes, plant some of this. We have pumpkin? We do. Uh, we might as well get two, because I mean, if technically, if you were going to do it, you, you would do pumpkin bread, right? Let's go restock upstairs, too. Got a bit of wheat. So let's go three. Three rice. Let's get two of those. Couple of coffee. Oh, tomato. Couple of corn. And we'll see how that goes. Now, I don't know, without having any access to the outside, if those are going to grow, I may have to build... Like, I may have to take some of this out. I'm really hesitant to do that, though. Oh, man. Well, before we completely destroy the... Uh, building. Let's go ahead and finish putting down the stuff that's important so that when we do destroy the building it actually destroys everything instead of a handful of stuff. Alright, there's that. Then farm plots. Hope we're not short. Oh, we got lots. It's giving me red here, but it's Why is that? I don't know why that is. It's kind of frustrating. Oh, I meant to make more corn too. Damn it, let's go make those seeds. Okay. So, let's do... We want to have low growing crops near the front and the higher growing crops at the back. So here will be corn. I think this is just telling me it's not going to grow because there's no lights. I get that. We'll fix that. And then we've got super corn, which I think I need to take out these parts for. Those are just wood, eh? Well, that's a bonus. Okay. So super corn. Then the lowest growing crops, I think, are things like mushrooms and pumpkin. So let's put... Pumpkin... And mushrooms... By the door. And then we'll put... Carrots are low growing, relatively. Yeah, see, I think we get... I don't know. I gotta figure out how we're gonna do the lights here. Uh, what else? Put two of these in. Ah, uh, shit, I gotta take these out too. Okay, we don't want higher growing crops near those, so... The wheat can go there because it's relatively tall. The rice is relatively tall, so that can go along the back. Tomatoes aren't too bad, but let's put them here. Let's put... I don't have much left, eh? Oh. Bro-tatoes? Guess we'll put them like that. And I guess coffee, um... It's not that tall, but let's put it here. We got some more space, so we got like what? Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine and five. Fourteen more. Once again, if you were going to do it, just plan it out a little better. So let's find my yucca. Like so. Aloe. Actually, where's the potato? That gives us couple rows of potato along there. Aloe. Let's just go two. Let's 
two of you. It's two more wheat. That's tomato, that's wheat, rice. That's not gonna look perfect, but it's good enough. So not bad, there's the farm. I mean, taking blocks out shouldn't be bad. Right? Okay, that's not so bad. Looks like hell, but I mean, maybe we put another, how many um, cobble blocks do I have? Not a lot, but I can make more. Let's make 500 and then Actually, we can just do it with these. And we'll upgrade them for the sweet XP, right? Alright, copy shape. Like that. Uh-huh. Okay, we copy the shape of that. So if it's every two, so it's one, two... It would be there. Then one... Shit, one, two, it would be there. So we gotta add it here then. So at least it's relatively symmetrical, right? Two gap, three gap, two gap. Can we reach that side? We can. Uh, but we're not using that piece. So let's upgrade these guys. Okay, that gets that done. Now there's not going to be any glass here, unfortunately, because I don't, I don't, I think you can make angled glass, but I don't think it actually works very well. Um, fine with it not being cobble along here. Uh, maybe we should. Okay, that's not bad. So at least it's illuminated down there. Okay, let's do that at least. It's a little better with these are like a little more solid. Okay, now I'm gonna wanna add a door here. So I think we have to take this out. And we gotta pull out these guys. And then we'll add uh, shape. Let's do what we were doing downstairs with these guys. Like so. And if I'm gonna do it, I should probably do the same on this side. Yeah, probably. Although it's going to have to be... Hmm. Looks weird now. Do we do... Alright. That's not too bad. I should not mind this light in here either. Uh, let's just do add a bit of concrete here just to add a bit of structural support not a lot I need more cobble though that should get this done cool all right so that's actually not too bad we just need a vault door I think for here or maybe we could use just a regular iron door let's leave a regular door there All right, so there's the iron door in there. Is it perfect? Ah, does it look all right? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we got the control room in here. Oh, I think I want to move my kitchen down here. What might be nice is to have like a little sun room. You know, we take out this part and have like a little balcony, corner balcony here with a sun room. 
that we have our kitchen in. And then this could be a door that accesses the roof out here. So let's go ahead and knock some of these blocks, bleh, blocks out here. All right, there's that. And then this could be something. And then I think that's the one we want there. Ramp incline. Uh, we got guys downstairs again. So like that. Yeah, because I want to do half walls here. So that's got to come out too on that side too. Like that. I got to figure out the corner here. That's going to be the tricky part. So I did that. Then I can make this whatever I want here on the corner. I mean, there's that too. So we can fill it in like that, and then I don't think there's anything that we can. Fi I don't think there's a, a little wedge corner for that. Um, so these are the ones I'm working with. Oh, there is. But that's inside corner though. Nope, it's not. Perfect. Okay, so now we're using these half blocks outside here for the walls. All right, well, you know what, this episode's gone a little too long. I'm going to keep, keep the bu building going in the next episode. Um, we'll finish up this place, and then, like I said, after that, we'll uh, determine what we're going to do. Probably going to go off. We'll do searching down in the wasteland to try and find another city to do the uh, um, horde on foot episode. Uh, this place, I mean, i got to work on the door in the back. i got to get a bunch of stuff built, so I'm going to go ahead and do that in the next little bit. I know we haven't put the Marauder down, but we got to figure out what we're going to do for the uh, garage for that first. But uh, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.